Hey guys, Janet here today and I am super excited because my order finally came for my new Doodlebug line. I ordered this stuff from A Cherry on top because they were one of the first websites that I found that had it available. Um, as of filming, this is March 1st, 2024. And as of now, yesterday, February 29th, was the day that scrapbook.com finally released it. And usually they're pretty close to first, but um, I got this order in from a cherry on top a week before scrapbook.com released. So I went ahead and got it. With that being said though, I did go ahead and order some more of it on scrapbook.com because after this order, I did decide there were some things I wanted more of. So let me show you guys what I got. I'm so excited. I love this line. Um, the only large paper that I got was, I got this border one because I just love, I love the little peeps. I love the little bunnies with the eggs and baskets, the jelly beans. Like I love the border. So I ordered one of these because I thought I could use those on cards. And the backside has the bunnies on it, which are super cute as well. And then I got four of this one. Not for this side. This side's just eh to me. But look at this other side, you guys. It's Peeps. Peeps, finally a good paper with Peeps on it. Like, I've been looking for Peep paper, and I found a few little 6x6 um, six six pads over the years that have had, like, a sheet or two in there. But this one is perfect. It's got all the colors in it, perfect size. Like, everything's great about this paper. Um, Peeps are actually, like, my favorite Easter icon and uh, I love to put them on my cards. I don't actually like the Peep Candy, ironically, that much. So um, I don't know. I just think these are cute and they're colorful. I love them. So I got four of these so that I would maybe never run out. You know, that way I have some to use and some to hoard. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? Um, so yeah, I got those. And then this one, I got, uh, what is it, two? No, three. No, four. I got four of this one as well <laughs> because I also love the jelly beans. Jelly beans are like my second favorite Eastery thing to put on cards. So again, perfect colors because Doodlebug is so bright and colorful that this is perfect. The other side though, I really like too. I think that's why I got four of this one because I really love this side as well um, because it's got the peeps. It's got the chocolate bunnies, which I also love to put on cards. So Peeps, chocolate bunnies, and jelly beans. Those are my favorite things to put on Easter cards. So that is why I got four of these so that I could use both sides. Now I remember. That is all I got for the 12 by 12 paper. But again, when I went ahead and ordered on scrapbook.com yesterday, I did go ahead and decide to get the 12 by 12 collection kit. I decided that I wanted the whole kit in 12 by 12 as well. Although I do mostly card making, I don't really scrapbook Easter. Um, I just, I felt like I wanted them all in a 12 by 12 too. So um, I went ahead and got a collection kit and I got some more other things too, which I'll show you as I get to those items. But I did get two of the six by six paper pads because again, I'm a card maker um, for Easter. I, I scrapbook, but I mostly just scrapbook my trips at this point. So for Easter, I am just a card maker. <laughs> So I got two of these. So I'm going to flip through so you can at least see what all the papers in the line look like. So that first one is the tags. So that's what they look like. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so that's what they look like. And then the other side is just a blank tag. And then this side has some cute little icons. Look at those little peeps. My God, they're cute. Doodlebug is just amazing. It's just the most pretty papers because of all the colors. And then you've got chicks and you got jelly beans. You got that paper that was on the other side of the jelly beans that I already showed you. Here's the peeps, but look at them in small print. They're even better. Oh God, I love them. And then you've got these like journaly type card things, which I don't use, but the stripe on the other side can be used. I love these tone on tone, like diamond looking gingham patterns that Doodlebug has. I just really like those carrots and then this one's like petite flowers and pink more flowers and more flowers grass that yellow tone on tone gingham 
dots. And then you've got all these little things, which these are cool to put on cards. Some of these I wouldn't use necessarily, but there's a lot that I would. Like, especially for you, thinking of you, um, let's see, love you bunches, somebody loves you, hippity hoppity Easter's on its way, maybe Easter, no, that's Easter memories, I wouldn't use that. Um, but yeah, happy birthday, hanging with my peeps, I mean, there's a few on here, and then these can be cut apart to be put on front of cards as well. And then you've got a plaid, and then here's those borders in the six by six. There's those bunnies. I love this rainbow stripe. I cannot wait to use this. There's the little icon page. And then the tags again. So we're starting over. So that is the paper pad. I did not order another one of these. I did order the collection pack, the 12 by 12. Um, I may end up with another one of these paper pads because as far as card making goes, I use those a lot. But I feel like with these papers, like even these 12 by 12s, I feel like these icons are not so big that you can't use them. If you use this on a full front of a card, I think you'll still see a lot of it, which is one of the benefits of using the six by six paper is, you know, the icons are smaller and so you see them better on cards. But even this, like jelly beans, stuff like that, I feel like I could easily use these on cards and even the peeps, even though they're better in the smaller size. I do feel like they are just fine from a 12 by 12. So I don't know yet if I'm going to buy another six by six. It just depends. Okay. So then I got these puppy stickers and I got two of them. These are something newer that Doodlebug has been doing. They, I think maybe started last year or sometime. Um, these are very, very popular. And scrapbook.com sold out of these yesterday. I did order two more, but they are now sold out from what I could tell, unless they've restocked them since then. Um, so now I'm going to have four of these because I love all the eggs, the chocolate bunnies, the jelly beans, the peeps. I even like the bunnies, the chicks. I, I love everything about these, and I feel like I will use these a lot as, like, embellishments on the cards. So I went ahead and got two more of these. I know you guys are thinking that's probably overkill, which it probably is, but I love them. And one thing I've noticed with Doodlebug is a lot of times when their collections sell out at various websites, I don't see them restock them very often. I feel like Doodlebug makes enough kits and product that they send it everywhere they're going to send it, and when it sells out, it sells out. Like, I just feel like it's not replenished as much as like Echo Park and Cartabella and those brands. Now, with that said, these sold out the first day that they released them on scrapbook.com. So I do feel like they would get more of these, but I don't feel like this stuff is going to be restocked over and over and over again. I feel like if they do a restock, it's going to be like one time. So I do have two more of those coming. Then I got these cardstock stickers. So I kind of bring them up close so you can kind of see them. And this is the 6x12 sheet. I feel like these are just, you know, again, good little icons to put on the front of cards. And look, there's little peeps throughout here. I see peeps. I see jelly beans. I see chocolate bunnies. So yeah, I'm in love with this one too. Easter is actually one of my favorite holidays to make cards for. And I think it's because of all the pastel bright colors and stuff. Okay, so these are... They're like little clear. Well, they're not completely clear, but they're they're not cardstock stickers. They almost feel like vinyl. And it says that they're washer or washer, <laughs> waterproof and dishwasher safe. It doesn't say what they are. They're just sticker doodles, but I got them because they're peeps. And honestly, I was worried that they were going to be too big um, for card fronts because I thought maybe they went on tumblers or something for them being dishwasher safe, but and they might. But these are only like an inch to an inch and a quarter tall. So that's perfect for cards. Now I wish I would have bought more of them. But I didn't. I don't even think I bought more on my second order. So that's all right. I mean, I've got plenty of other peeps with these puppy stickers anyway. I'll be okay. All right. Then I got these sprinkles. I love Doodlebug's little enamel embellishments. They're sprinkles. I love them. So I got these and I did 
order one more of these. I use eggs a lot on my Easter cards as embellishments. So I got one more of those coming and you guessed it, I got the jelly beans as well. And I have one more of those coming. So aside from those, the other things that I have coming that I did not already order, aside from the collection kit, was the, um, I ordered a few of the doodle pops. So there's a girl bunny and a boy bunny and a little carrot house. I bought those, so I'm waiting on that to arrive. And the, you guys that buy doodle bug probably know like these kinds of stickers, they have a set that's like three sheets and they're smaller. I have that one coming as well. And then the last thing that I ordered for this, and I saved it for last because it's got a lot of pieces, I'm actually gonna take them out and show them to you guys so you can see them. Cause I mean, you can see here, but it's nowhere near as cool as seeing them outside the package. Um, so yeah, this is the last thing that I bought on this order. If I can get them out of the packaging. All right. So I'm not gonna necessarily go through, well, I might go through, through every one. I'm gonna kind of pull them out just so you guys can kind of see. But these, I feel like, would be great on the front of cards. Here's that doodle pop looking thing. Like, there's a doodle pop that looks like that. So I got that. Little carrot house. Look at these little bunnies and peeps. You can build yourself a little scene with these. So yeah, I'm just going to go through and show you. And get some of the bigger pieces out of the way first. Yeah, there's a bunch of little carrot houses. Trees. There's a truck. Another sun, bird, another sun. Okay, there's a lot of suns. They don't need to put that many in there. And the doodle pop that I ordered the boy, I think, looks like that. Look at this bunny coming out of the egg. This is just a really, really fun line. And if you're a doodle bug lover and you like making Easter cards at all, I think you'll really love this line. Another tree. And then there's just like a bunch. There's like a lot of eggs. I'm trying to get to some of these. Look, there's peeps, guys. There's peeps and there's jelly beans. There's chicks. There's chocolate bunnies. Baskets. I'm trying to get some of the bigger ones because I'm not going to go through every single small one. Oh, look, there's a wreath that has a flower pop out in the middle of it. There's a bunny with some chicks. These are just super adorable. Look at these. Ugh. This is just as fun for me as it is for you guys to look at it all because I'm seeing it for the first time as well. That's cute. It's a little hot air balloon in the shape of an egg. How adorable is that? This is what the girl bunny doodle pop looks like, I believe. Okay, I think I got most of the bigger pieces, so you guys kind of can see. Um, and you'll see the rest of these small ones. I'm not going to go through every one of these, but chicks, chocolate bunnies, eggs, peeps, jelly beans. I mean, you can see it all. It's beautiful. So I will probably not do another video when the other things come because some of them are duplicates of what I already showed you. There's only a few new items, so I'm not going to do another video for that. I'm sure there will be other videos with this collection. But, um, yeah, if you're a Doodlebug fan, you should totally check out some of these websites. Scrapbook.com has it right now, a cherry on top. Um, Scrapbook Generation might have it. I haven't checked theirs to see if it came in for them yet. And they ship really quickly, too, Scrapbook Generation. So does Scrapbook.com, usually. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see the, some Easter cards made. Like, um, I am prepping some Easter cards. So, um, just to show you guys, I've got some shakers. I've got a lot of shakers from Queen & Company. Like eggs. Um, you guessed it, I've got peeps. How cute are they? Uh, let's see, other bunnies. I've got these little chicks that I've made. Um, there's some little carrots. Look at these carrots. Isn't it cute? Um, Easter baskets. Oops, that's backwards. <laughs> that's what the back looks like. Um, Easter baskets, other chicks, um, more eggs. So, so yeah, I'm going to be, I'm already in the process of prepping the cards. 
um, in case you guys wanted to see it filmed. So please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video with me making some Easter cards. Um, keep in mind, they will be prepped a little bit. Otherwise, the video would be so super long. Like the shakers, for example, are already made. But um, yeah, I'd be happy to show them to you guys if that's what you want to see. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.